You know, are you a fair person? I'm okay with it. They'll have those uh, cream puffs. That's the thing that you love to have. Yes, we talked about that last week. I yeah. love them. He doesn't. I don't, I don't, I don't care. get it. But if you put it. a cannoli or a piece of tiramisu, I'll devour that. No <laughs> questions about it. Just a piggy eater, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I guess <laughs> maybe so. high standards. Yeah, maybe a high standards. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that's what it is. That, that's that's really the problem here. I have to try and drop my standards <laughs> down here to you know more realistic values. We've got some mostly above average temperatures expected for the upcoming week. We have above, well above average, especially expected over the central and northern plains. Now what's going to be happening is a high pressure dome of hot air is going to be developing over the south central part of the country. That's going to buckle the jet stream northward and usher in some more humid and uh, warm weather across the Midwest and the plains. But we'll be on the far northeastern section of that. So I think what's going to be happening is we'll be teetering back and forth between the lower 80s and the upper 80s and low 90s, whereas some areas will just be in the 90s for a consecutive amount of time. So it could be a lot worse for us here in northeast Wisconsin. Here's the weather picture right now. Cold front moving across from an area of low pressure tracking across southern Canada. That cold front has sparked off a few showers and storms, and there was some severe thunderstorms off in eastern Minnesota, but those obviously have since fallen apart. There are a few additional thunderstorms now making their way onto the other side of Lake Michigan. What's going to happen for us is drier weather will move in here for the remainder of the day. The highest amount of rainfall occurred well up into the Northwoods in northern parts of Door County, where some radar estimations were upwards of an inch of precipitation. And they'll take the rain. It has been abnormally dry for those locations so far this summer. As for the rest of us, skies turning partly cloudy to mostly clear by the afternoon. Tonight, we'll have mostly clear skies. There's been some isolated signs and maybe some localized areas of fog developing by the morning hours tomorrow. If there is any fog that erodes and we turn mostly sunny throughout the day, it'll be a beautiful start by late Tuesday night. And this is talking real late Tuesday night. There will be a chance of some showers and storms. There's a marginal risk for severe weather for areas along and west of the Fox Valley. So something we'll be watching for. It's 74 outside, a dew point of 66, making you feel a little muggy outside as well. Southwest wind at 7 miles per hour. The winds will start to turn out of the west and northwest as we continue on into the morning and transition over into the afternoon. Upper 60s and lower 70s are across the board, 68 in Sturgeon Bay, 66 in Pembine. And those dew points are muggy this morning. We are in that uncomfortable category with mid and upper 60 degree dew points. So you walk outside, you're going to feel that moisture in the atmosphere. But with those winds starting to teeter eventually out of the west and northwest, that is going to start to draw in some cooler air coming in here from Canada. High temperature today of 80 degrees, northwest winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour with partly cloudy skies. Tonight will cool off to 60 under mostly clear skies and light winds. Tomorrow back up into the right around 80 degree range, southeast winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour with mostly sunny skies. Getting up to about 90 degrees on Wednesday with a chance of a few scattered isolated showers or storms in the early morning. Then we turn dry and then uh, 80 degrees on Thursday, 83 on Friday, back up to near 90 on Saturday with once again a chance of storm. So it's going to be an up and down swing from 80s to 90s. Yeah, some hot and humid weather it looks like is on our way. Thanks, Gino.